Do you think Darlene is it too much? For anyone who's ever had a mother. People look at us and they say, look at that great looking mother and daughter. And anyone who's ever been one. You're not having sex with anybody, are you? What? Comes a movie about cutting the ties that bind. I am your mother, am I not? Anywhere but here. Action! Starring Academy Award winner Susan Sarandon as Adele and Natalie Portman as her daughter Anne. What's interesting about that character, Adele, is that she is doing all the wrong things for all the right reasons. All right, that is it. That is it. I've had it with you. You miss Ted so much, you go find Ted. Go on, get out of the car. She's the daughter of an eccentric, irresponsible mother who is a good mother but doesn't always act the way a mom should. I know what is best for you because I am your mother. I'm not going to see your future as some nothing girl in a nothing town. I now have a job teaching in the Los Angeles school system. You don't have a job in the Los Angeles school district. I will have. I have an interview and a great outfit. I, I really responded to the script in terms of this mother and daughter uh, leaving Wisconsin, making a journey to California, and the dream of uh, you know having a different life in California. Now that we're in Beverly Hills, maybe you should change your name to Heather. She loves her daughter, and she's passionate about it, but she just is so misguided. Well, you love that little French restaurant. That's it's just what we need. We need a bed for me. We need a desk. We need sheets. We need towels. We don't need to go out to eat to a French restaurant. There's a, there's a great love between the two characters because they really can't be without each other. They really need each other to be complete. Be optimistic, don't you be a grumpy. When the road gets bumpy, just smile, smile, smile and be happy. It's kind of Adele's motto, I guess, to be anywhere but here. She's kind of an escapist. When life gets rough and you only have a dime in your pocket, go get your shoes shined. I think it's about having the courage to follow a dream. This is the house I want. That is beautiful. Mom, it's Come by on, appointment honey. only. It's all right. So do Come not on. disturb I occupants. Know. Ultimately, it's also about the daughter becoming more uh, herself and becoming more independent. I want to go to college back east. And for the mother to accept that she's leaving. You are going to UCLA. I think it's true in almost any relationship, mother-daughter, mother-son, in order to be with someone you have to know, you can let them go. I want to be on my own and you on your own. Let me go. The situation has allowed Susan and I to get a real relationship going. And I mean, we've got a real kind of family here. I felt connected to Natalie from the moment I met her. I think one of the things I'm proudest of is that I, I, I can believe that they're mother and daughter. You, you look alike, you two. No, thanks. No, yeah. Susan has this maternal instinct, which is just so apparent, uh, and Natalie gravitated right towards it. So they were mother-daughter instantly. Susan brings a lot of herself into Adele, too, and she's having a lot of fun with it. I mean, sort of taking parts of what she's always had in her and kind of making it you know, much more. And the casting of Natalie was so important because if you could see someone that was that healthy and smart, you'd have to say at some point, well, for all of how silly this mom is and for all the mistakes she's making, she must be doing something right because this kid's gonna survive and this kid's a great kid. It was kind of weird because I was thinking the whole time, I was like, in one year, I'm gonna be doing this in real life, you know? I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna go to college, I'm gonna be living on my own. I just was just here to get her an ice cream. She needed an ice cream. Don't blame it on me. I'm just explaining to the officer, sweetheart, why I hate we it when you do this. When I do what? We were kind of in the dress rehearsal for real life in terms of these, you know, these crises. For I yet. was explaining to him it's our Christmas tradition. I didn't even want ice cream. She wanted ice cream. No, Anne, where are you going? I want it to be a kind of a demonstration of how one person's love could save a child's life. I'm going to leave her one of these days. I'm sure you will, but not today. Adele, despite all her corners and crooked edges, did love her and gave her that. I was looking all over for you. I couldn't find you anywhere. You I could ever do that again. I couldn't find you. I didn't know where you were. It's OK, Mom. I'm right here. I think this movie, you know, is a journey about a mother and a daughter who have a dream. And I really feel that journey with them. I think it's really entertaining, but also really moving and something that you can go to with your you know, with your family and all really get something different out of it.
My favorite kind of movie is something that's really funny and then surprises you with moments that get to you and, and kind of tugs at your heartstrings, and I think it's that.